Y'all, it's the gift guide video for foodies. I got the Christmas tree up, you know, it's the holidays. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mila Clark Buckley, the hangry woman, and today we're gonna be talking about my favorite holiday gifts for foodies. I feel like foodies are some of the hardest people to shop for. I am one of those people. I just buy everything that I want. So when holiday time comes, my friends are always like, put some stuff on your Amazon wish list that you want, and I'm kind of like, I just bought all the stuff that I wanted. I also feel like foodies have a very unique need for gifts and we're very picky about the things that we want. But I came up with a list of some things that totally are just, they they range the gift gambit. And I think that there are, there's something for everyone on this list for sure. So I wanna go through my foodie gift guide with you guys and I'll leave some links down below of the different items and I'll tell you who I think it's good for and why I love this particular gift for a person who loves cooking and loves food. Before we continue, as always, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more. I'm so excited about doing this gift guide and I think that you guys are gonna have such a great time getting gifts for people. It's also early enough in the season that you can basically get these gifts now and they'll likely be delivered by the time someone wants to open them on Christmas. I've used or loved all of these gifts in some way, shape, or form, so I have some experience with them and I am so happy to recommend anything on this list. The other thing is that these gifts range, so they range from $10 to over $200 way, way over $200, but the ones that are over $200 are definitely worth it. So stick around for that. All right, so the first item on my list is a very cute silicone bottle stopper. This is great for anybody who loves wine. It's such a cute little stocking stuffer kind of gift for somebody who takes the corks out of their wine like me, can never get them back in like me. <laughs> and want something like cute and seasonal to put on their wine bottles to keep them sealed and make sure that the wine stays good. So I love this as a stocking stuffer. I think it's cute. You can get it in any sort of shape or any sort of form. I think these little like sweater hats are super cute for the winter time, but you can pretty much get them in like any color, any size, any whatever. Um, and they're just a really great gift, especially like if you're like me, again, who doesn't drink a whole bottle of wine in one sitting, you can have the silicone stopper to put on top of your wine bottles. Truffle salt is a nice finishing salt and it gives that like nice umami flavor to different foods. So you can sprinkle it on eggs or steak or in risotto or on rice and get some like extra enhancements in flavor. Truffle salt is a great gift for foodies because it's always useful. You can finish any Thing with it and it is absolutely delicious and it's pretty fancy. This one is just fun. There are two that I really like. So one is the baguette pillow. I just think it's such a funny gag gift. It's literally a pillow that has a print of a baguette on it and it's just cute. Like it's, it's funny, it's adorable. It's something that is like memorable to get as a gift. I also love the tortilla blanket because like who doesn't want to wrap themselves up like a big burrito? And I also just think like it's a great fun gag gift and something that people kind of laugh at and enjoy. A seasonal honey box is the next gift. I love this as a gift because it's just really thoughtful, but it's also something that's useful. Honey is just a delicious condiment to be able to use. The natural sweetness in it is just soothing. It's good for you, it's good for your body, it's good for your health. And so getting someone a seasonal honey box is a fun way to get them to experiment and try different types of honey for different types of things and maybe will help them expand their cooking and what they like to use honey for. So I find that to be a really good gift because it's something that people haven't necessarily tried before. Like everybody's tried honey, but you may not have tried like spicy honey or honey that has like elderflower in it or you know, something like that. So I think that that's like a really fun like foodie adventure type of gift to give someone. Okay, this next one is my favorite kitchen appliance right now. It's the Ninja Foodie Pressure Cooker. And when I say when I first got this machine, I didn't cook anything on my stove. 
I, I mean it. Like I did not cook a single thing for like the first three weeks that I had this on the stove because everything that I made in my pressure cooker just came out beautiful and amazing and tender and delicious and was so easy to make. It was like set it and forget it and you don't have to do anything else. I love, love, love this appliance because it does, the one that I have does like 11 things. There's also one that does nine. It comes in two different sizes, six and eight quart, um, but it, it does everything. It air fries, it pressure cooks, it bakes, it dehydrates, it steams, I mean like, you name it, it does it. So I love this appliance because especially if you're somebody who likes to do like fast and quick cooking, it's a really great appliance to use to be able to make food really quickly, but also make it super delicious. I have a ton of Ninja Foodie pressure cooker recipes on my website. I'll link some of them down below. I've made like a whole chicken in that thing in 45 minutes. I mean, like, it's, it's a wonder appliance, it's amazing. Some people like the Instant Pot better, but I actually prefer the Ninja Foodie over the Instant Pot. I just think for like my style and the way that I cook and aesthetics, it works better for me. I like it a lot better, and I feel like it does a whole lot more than the Instant Pot does. I know there's like 20 different kinds of Instant Pots, but I feel like this one is, this Ninja Foodie air fryer is just, it runs it over, <laughs> honestly. It's a really, really great appliance. With that, if you also like indoor grilling, the Ninja Foodie Indoor Grill is also an amazing appliance. I use it all the time to cook steak, to cook chicken. I made some Brussels sprouts in there last night that were like nice and charred and like crispy on the outside. They were so delicious. It's just another wonder appliance. It doesn't do as much as the pressure Ninja Foodie pressure cooker. However, what it does do, it does do well. I also like that it has a built-in thermometer, so there's no guesswork as to when my food is ready. You stick the thermometer into your meats. You can use presets to cook it or set the machine to like a manual mode where you cook how you want it to. Um, either way is fine, either way is great. I've tried both. I think that the presets work actually pretty well. I have overcooked my steak a couple times but I'm really particular about that. So I just remembered to set it to a lower setting next time and it was fine. But I think as a gift, as somebody who loves to grill outdoors, it's really cool to have an indoor version so that when the weather gets cold or it's rainy and I still wanna grill, I can still get that like char grilled flavor inside instead of like going outside, preheating the grill, getting out the charcoal, getting out the lighting cubes, waiting for everything to smolder. Um, I can just do it much faster. And it doesn't replace that like the grilled taste. Like there's, there's something about cooking with wood or charcoal that makes your food just like taste wonderful and natural, but this does a really good job of mimicking that, and so it's another great gift that you can get for the foodie that you love. Two more things on the list. One is not that expensive and the other is really expensive. So the one that's not that expensive and that is so quality and amazing is some cookware and dishes from Our Place. I personally have seen like a million Facebook ads for Our Place. I fell for the ads and I'm gonna say that it was probably one of the best purchases I've made this year. The Always Pan from Our Place is like, it's amazing. It's non-stick, you can steam in it, you can cook in it. Um, it's so easy to clean. The pans are beautiful, they're well made, they're sturdy, they're heavy. I have thoroughly enjoyed having one and using one when I am not cooking in my Ninja Foodi and actually cooking on my stove. It has been one of my absolute favorite pans to cook with and it does so much in one. I love their pans, but I also got a hold of some of their serverware, so like some of their plates and their glasses. I have to tell you that like, it's, it's right up my alley. Like when I say that I have like this rose gold dream of like everything in my house being like blush pink and taupe and rose gold, like their serverware one looks beautiful and looks amazing, but two, it is so sturdy. And what I love is like, it's like, um, 
kind of like an enamel, like a shiny enamel on the top. It's like very nice. And then the bottom is ceramic. So it's got this just like beautiful natural feel, this very like soft texture. They're dishwasher safe, so you can stick everything in the dishwasher and wash it. They're amazing. They're just like some of the best like dishes that I've ever had and ever experienced having. And I'm like so excited to actually buy some more because I want to replace like all of my bowls and all of my plates with their stuff because it's just that beautiful and wonderful. Last thing on my list is the Vitamix A3500 Ascent Series Blender. And you're gonna be like, are you kidding me? But I am not kidding you. This is probably one of my favorite things that I bought this year. I have always had some like dream kitchen appliances. So I always wanted a KitchenAid stand mixer. I bought one about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. I don't know, I don't know how long ago, eight years ago, I don't know, when I was in college. Um, yes, more like eight years ago, I think. Can I do math? Yeah, 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 eight years ago. I was in college eight years ago. My, I was graduating college eight years ago. Um, so crazy. Uh, <laughs> I always wanted like a Breville food processor to be able to like food process like zucchini and and make biscuits and you know do all the things you do with food processor I always wanted a Vitamix and I saved up for so long to buy this Vitamix y'all I finally bought it and it is literally one of the best purchases I think I've ever made for for my kitchen and if you know me you know that I spring on the big appliances I go usually for the like most expensive thing, but that's because I know it's going to last. I went for the most expensive stand mixer and eight years later, it is still working like a dream. I went for the most expensive food processor. I don't actually use my food processor all the time, but at least I have it and it works really well. It does beautifully when I do need to use it. Um, and so the same thing for me was with the blender. I feel like if you invest in your kitchen stuff, and you buy the things that are going to last, they will last and you're able to pass them down. My Le Creuset, like I've had it for a really long time and it holds up so well, I cook in it pretty frequently. So I think it's important to invest in your kitchen appliances because you don't want them to break over time. You want them to be useful to you for decades if you can help it. And that's how I feel about the Vitamix. I feel like this is gonna be a blender that I hold on to for a very, very long time hopefully decades, hopefully like if we ever have children, it's something that I can pass down to them. Um, if not, my friends will get it <laughs> or their kids will get it, I don't know. But this blender is awesome. It does a ton, it makes soups. It can obviously blend like frozen fruit and, and cold things. It makes spreads and butters. It, I mean, makes like salsas. It does everything. It has a self-cleaning option where you just pour soap in, um, pour water in and then turn it on and then it cleans it out. I have made almond butter in it several thousand times. I just, it's one of those things that I love to death. And I think that if you have a foodie in your life that is wanting a blender or looking for a blender or looking for like a way to use a blender, or just looking for a good one, that particular Vitamix, the A3500 Ascent Series is like unmatched. It's one of the best tools that I have in my kitchen and that I use like very regularly. I think it's also super important to get accessories with that. So I love my tamper and my blade scraper. Those are two accessories that I feel like are really important. The blade scraper helps you get all of that like food that's caught under the blade so that you're not wasting as much and you're getting as much food out of the Vitamix as possible. The uh, tamper is so great for making nut butters or salsas, like anything that you need to kind of like tamp down and like press into the blade so that it grinds it properly. It's another great accessory. They also have like a tamper holder, which I'm trying to get. <laughs> it's like one gift that I kind of want. And I think that that is, it's, it's always great to have the accessories with it because it makes it easier to use. Vitamix also does have some individual blending cups. I don't love them. I just use the big pitcher. They also have like a food processor attachment to it now. So if you wanted to get like double bang for your buck, you could get the food processor attachment as well that just goes on top of the motor. 
and yeah, it's like, it's, it's a great gift. If I opened up a Vitamix on Christmas, if I didn't already have one, I would be super excited and very happy with it. Okay guys, so that's it for this gift guide for foodies. I hope you really enjoyed it. I, like I said, will leave all the links down below for the items that I mentioned today so that you have them and you can put them on your potential wish list as something surprising to get your foodie friends and family. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and be sure to also give the video a thumbs up so I know that I did a good job and I know that you wanna see more videos like this. I appreciate you watching so much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.